Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill uh, Nicholson. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Milton Emerson, and my son. We are back with the Jordan 11 Cool Grays. Now, unfortunately, we just don't have the Jordan 11 Cool Grays for my son's size because if you haven't known, check out my man on Breakable Kicks on his YouTube channel. It kind of broke it down and saying that there are some shipments that could be delayed, they could be delivered already, or they just could be canceled. Before we get into the video, I want to say, look, check your Nike account. This is for the Nike Sneakers shock drop this is what we're reviewing this is not from nordstrom not from a baby mama this that and the fifth direct from nike check your account and make sure it says either prepare for shipping and then check your bank card whatever card you use to purchase the shoe and make sure the charge is still applied if the charges are not applied and you look on your nike account and it says canceled yeah, it's not looking good. Now, this is our second go around trying to do this video because the first time we did the video what happened it didn't record. It, it didn't record. <laughs> and then, then the second time we did it, somebody yeah. called. So it's like this happens nonstop when I do YouTube videos. But I just want to kind of put that out in terms of the Nike information, so people aren't freaking about freaking out about their uh, Jordan Eleven uh, shipments. So with that said and done, we do have the Jordan Eleven Cool Grays. I have my personal pair, the men's size, and I have my daughter size, which is a preschool. So you'll be seeing both versions. Before we get in the shoe, I want to let everybody know, yes, Michael Jordan himself, he wore the Jordan 11 Cool Grays playing for the Washington Wizards back in 2001. Now, a lot of people have their differences about the shoes simply because, at least their opinions, simply because that, you know, the 2001 version, they had a lower cut patent leather. You'll be seeing the picture right here. Um, the bottom, the outsole was clearer. And there was a kind of a rounded slope going towards the toe box. On the newer version, it's a nice icy blue bottom. Much like what's been going on with the Jordan 11 for the past four years, the patent leather has been, at least the cut, has been higher. So I don't mind that. I really don't mind. I actually like that a little bit more. And towards the toe with the 2021 version, you can see that there is a more narrow slope. At least that's what they're saying. But let's find out for ourselves and let's start with the Jordan 11 preschool cool gray version. Shout out to Nike, man. I really do appreciate this because I didn't think I was going to get my uh, shipment, at least not today. The shock drop happened, if I'm not mistaken, on Monday of this week. So this is the official preschool version of the Jordan 11 cool grays. You want to take a look at this or you want to hold this? All right, let's open it up. And of course, it does come with the uh, Jordan decal little sticker it usually does i think on the box let's get the box real quick i think it does start with the um the sticker there's a sticker here there's a stamp right here and there's another sticker on the inside for anybody wondering sorry to take it but yeah we want to take a look at that and let's kind of let's see what the whole preschool version looks like let me put this over here all right Ev, what do you think pretty good pretty good do you like, now, you've, you've had the Jordan 11 Concords, you had the Jordan 11 Breads, and now you, the Jordan 11 Cool Grays. Hopefully, when that comes through, what do you think of this particular shoe in terms of the color? Which one do you prefer outside of the Concords, the Jordan 11 Breads, and the Cool Grays? And before you answer your question, he's asking, uh, actually, he's going to be answering his honest opinion, not by what we're accustomed to with our OG, but you, you get what I'm saying. So go ahead. I like the Cool Grays. Cool you like the cool grays more than the concords and the Jordan 11 breads? Yes. Why? Color? I like the I like the bottom of it. I like the color of it, and I like the laces. The laces. So I, you know what? And that's a that's a good point because I know the Jordan 11 concords kind of has those laces. I think what happens is when you look at the preschool pair, uh, for anybody that's wondering. With the cool grays, what makes them pop is, is exactly what he's saying is, is the laces. It's that, that cool gray, I want to say, vibe to it. But when you throw the white on white, because, you know, like a white midsole, white laces, this looks very clean. And, of course, on the preschool version, 23 is printed, as well as the small Jordan logo that is stitched on there. Icy blue bottoms, as my son mentioned, that reaches out, kind of spells out Jordan on the bottom with the... I want to say it's gray, gray pods, but this is my daughter's 
Shu, who is not here just yet, but later on we'll be doing a future video where we are actually hopefully all will have our shoes in and, and kind of do that. This video I'm going to do the on feet showing my big boat size 13 pair. You already know what time it is. <laughs> so it does feature that new buck. The new buck on the upper is is very, very soft. I'm kind of surprised on that. Um, because normally, you know, like the men's pair, you know, they are the adult pair, I should say. They go all out. And, you know, the, the kids pair, they're kind of like, eh. Lately, lately, like the past four years, when you're looking at the grade school, the preschool pairs, they really divvied it up with the material. So, Ev, you can hold this real quick. And let me bring out the other pair just to make sure everything is looking good. Now, okay, I do see the peak. They call it the little widow's peak. And I'll probably have a picture right here on towards the, to the toe box of the um the preschool version so you know a lot of people have been showing the men's pairs men's pairs men's pairs will be showing the preschool pair and i think three adults because uh, let's just face it you don't wear grade school anymore he is oh how do you eight nine nine see that's how bad i am i'm bad with memory but he's nine years old <laughs> sorry he's nine years old and you're wearing adult actually men's pairs Jordan shoes. That's to me. That's crazy. Like most, most kids his age are wearing grade school. He's wearing men's already. Men's size what? Eight. Seven and a half, eight. Yes. Yeah, right now. Eight. <laughs> you can't make. I wear a size thirteen. Look, big boat game. So let's just put the uh the actually the preschool version of the Jordan Eleven Cool Grays to the side. You can see it right there. These do look nice. Can't wait to see my daughter rocking them. And I can't wait to see you wearing them. So we're gonna put this in the box over there. And let's take a look at the Jordan 11 Cool Gray Size 13 Men's Pair, which I'm excited for. I'm kind of static for this because, man, thank you very much, sir, kindly, sir. You can see right here we got Size 13 Jordan 11 box direct from Nike, from again, from the Nike sneakers shock drop. Uh, you got that gray box. I'm pretty sure you've, got, you, you've all seen the box because everybody, their mom probably did a review already. But... Again, this is direct from Nike. So, let's get, open this bad boy up. And, you can see that we got the wax paper, but let's get rid of that trash bag type mentality. And look at these shoes. Ev, if you could be so kindly to hold the size 13. <laughs> is it heavy? Yeah. <laughs> heavy for a shoe. <laughs> so, he's holding that pair. Let me show you this pair, but again, Jordan himself, actually, he really did wear the, the Jordan 11 Cool Grays. You'll be seeing a couple pictures right here pop up momentarily. And we got the whole new buck action. And I, I'm telling you this right now, this is fantastic. That patent leather, that, that high cut. Whew, man, and of course, do that. Do the whole count on the lace. One, two, three. You see that Jumpman logo on the tongue, of course. Printed on the back. Two, three. And that stitch. Jordan logo. The outsole is what is people are talking about. I like this version. I like that icy blue. I think it was also featured, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say it was the Jordan 11 cap and gowns that kind of had that icy blue bottom. That kind of changed over time, but I can tell you right now the Jordan 11 adapts, which actually gets to my point right now. Because I see that Jordan brand is dropping the Jordan 11 Cool Grays. You see it right here. But my question is, what happens? Kind of what they did back last year in December. Here's what I'm talking about. Let me bust this out real quick. So last year, December, we got the 25th anniversary of the Jordan 11 Jubilees. And then this shoe, in my opinion, was fantastic. But you can hold this up. If I'm not mistaken, right, everybody, we all knew about the Jordan 11 Jubilees, but then they surprised us with the Jordan 11 adapts. Now, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers that maybe this year they do something like that. Maybe they surprise us with a Jordan 11 because this is the first self-lacing Jordan shoe, the adapts. And I'm an 11 guy, just putting it out there, but this fantastic now if they do something like that if they do do something like that hooray if they don't who knows and who knows what they're going to come out with next year but let me take that off you 
So in your final opinion, Ev, you say that you prefer this over the Concours and the breads. And let me just ask you, will you be wearing this for traditional walking or will you be using it for like basketball, things of that, you know, that nature? I'll be using it for basketball and school. Basketball and school. Okay. Okay. I can understand that. It'll probably be... Sometimes walking. Oh, your occasional walking. But you'll also be, that provided that this shoe gets shipped, you'll be the first person in your school, yes. possibly, to wear the Jordan 11 Cool Breeze early because the release date is set for December 11th, at least for now. Uh, these are the shock drop pairs, man. I am so, so excited and hopefully excited for you because we will be doing a future video. Him showing his kind of shoes off. My daughter, my wife, hopefully that comes in, but we don't know. We don't know right now. Again, the speculation that there's some shoes or some orders that might be canceled. Hopefully yours isn't, but comment below. Comment below. Let me know what you think about the Jordan 11 Cool Grays. Do you think of this release as something that you might get December 11th? Of course, almost failed to mention that it does have the carbon fiber plate on the bottom of the outsole of the shoe. And you can see that there is a white Jumpman Jordan right behind that icy blue bottoms. Your boy Magnificent. My son Ev, again, hopefully, hopefully Ev, we will get you a pair of Jordan 11s prior to the release date. If not, Definitely going to try my best to get him a Jordan 11 Cool Grays on a release date. Again, December 11th on the Sneakers app and plenty of other stores. Plenty of other. Trust me, there's enough pairs for everybody. Trust on that. Your boy, Mo Nemison, I am out and stay blessed.